Hello everyone, this is Dice, and today we are going to do something different than I normally would. Instead of doing a tutorial exactly in Photoshop on how to do something in Photoshop, today we're going to put a plugin into Photoshop and get it to save .ico files so that, and .cur files so that it, so that we can save icon files inside of Photoshop instead of having to get a freeware program. Um, this plugin is free. I will give the link to this URL in the bar, the information bar over on the side. And so the first thing is that you have to choose your system and what you want it to do. This is the one I downloaded because I unfortunately have Vista. And I want to save it for everything because I like to make desktop desktop icons for other people to use too instead of just favicons. And so first you're going to click whichever one you want. I mean they have one for Macs too and these do work in any versions of Photoshop as they say here. All versions of Photoshop. And you don't have to do any of this. You just go to download and this will come up. Hit OK. I already downloaded it. So I'm in Firefox, so it will come up in this thing, and it should automatically open. It's a zip file, so you have to have a zip file thing. Now mine, I have it in ZipPeg. This is a freeware software that will also unzip .rar files and a bunch of other ones that I don't even remember because I don't use them. But I like this one because it's just simple and easy and it opens up everything and I download a lot of Sims stuff so this is just easier for me because it saves this path up here. And so this is what I have. You have to make sure, so we're going to go to browse. I already have it in here. But you're going to try, you have to put it in this location. Um, C program files, Adobe, Photoshop 7.0, or whatever version you have, slash plugins, slash file formats. And this, it will be wherever you installed Photoshop. Most people have it on the C drive, so I'm just saying that's where it goes. If you have it someplace else, then it goes wherever you have installed Photoshop in the plugins file. And then you want to hit extract. And then you'll notice I have it right here. Here's my plugins folder, and it's this is the and this is my folder. So to test if this worked, we're going to go to Adobe Photoshop. And I'm going to go to File, New. That's a good size for a favicon. I'm just going to leave it away because I'm just showing you guys that this actually worked. If you go to the drop down menu, it's right there. And you'll notice. I have two different ones. This is just for Vista. And then I'm going to open it up. And here it is. Favicon. So, that is how you install a plugin, and I hope this helped you guys out. Bye bye!